right. <clears throat> Starting my dummy wall so that I could take out these boards. I'm just going to go up top and very mark these where I know they're studs. Well, that's what the tape on the ceiling is. Son of a bitch. About T20 screws. Last video of the day. I think I'm at a good stopping point. Let me just give you a recap. Obviously, we've got the support wall up today, and we kind of just cleaned out all. We took out all the old studs, cleaned out the bottom on there, so that's fully ready to be patched. Um, wiring is all still here. That'll be tomorrow. I think we'll work on rerouting the wiring, putting those switches back up and over, probably up against this wall. This guy is a one switch that just works one outlet over there, which I don't think we really need. It's not really worth rerouting, so I think I'm just going to put him up in the ceiling with some wire nuts in a closed box so it's to code. And then I made my cut over here. This is where the header is going to sit on top of these two by fours. And you can see that's a piece of two by six, same size as the header. So that's how the header is going to sit in there. It's going to run all the way over here. There's another piece of two by six. And then this guy is going to be one of the jack studs going to be up against this stud right here. 
Obviously it'll be facing flat. I just can't I just can't have it flat because my wiring's still running through. As soon as that wiring's out of there, I'll face that flat up against the stud. Right now I just did that for sizing purposes to make sure I cut it to the right length. And there'll be two of them. That's the other one right there. There'll be two two by fours. And then the header will be running all the way across. And honestly, even with this holding it up and just like having to cut all the old nails and stuff out of here and I'm pounding on it with a hammer and that thing's like not even going anywhere. I'm pretty sure this is not load bearing. So this is just kind of being extra safe and making sure there's something there where there wasn't because I'm just not sure I'm not an engineer. Um, so then once I'm done with that, probably starting next week, we'll probably get going on this wall. Pretty much doing the same thing. We'll have the header sitting right there running all the way across and I'll just chop these right where the header is going to be right up against it. And then we'll have probably, I probably might have four two by fours up against there so it comes out enough or I'll put a four by four and then two two by fours and for the header to sit on top of. But that'll be next week. You can see I started putting together the actual header. Got it all cut to size. That top layer is a half inch piece of deck board or or whatever. That's gonna sandwich in between the two two by tens down below there. So I was just cutting it to size. I was gonna screw the half inch to the two by six, but all I have are two and a half inch screws, so it'll go all the way through and come out the back. So I need to go to Home Depot and get some one and a half inch screws for that. And then another little list of stuff I need to get for removing the electrical, but that's about it. It's the end of day four. Almost ready to put the header in. Assuming tomorrow, if I have help, if not, I'll have to wait for Saturday. Maybe me and Kristen can come over here and she's all the muscle I need to get that header up in there. So, signing out, day four.